Hey everyone, um, here's a quick video on how to do vector calculations on the Sharp EL506T scientific calculator. So what's in this video? Just briefly, we're going to look at editing a vector, storing that vector, then a quick helpful shortcut um, to recall vectors quickly for you, then we'll do sums with vectors, dot product, cross product, the angle between vectors, and then of course, finding the unit vector. So jam-packed session, shouldn't take us too long. Uh, let's go through it. So firstly, where is the vector mode? Well, very easy to find. You're just gonna go, uh, you're gonna press your mode button, press your down button, and you'll see at option number six, it says vector. So you would just choose six for vector. Let's edit a vector now. So. We press math, we choose one for edit, and then we input the size of a vector. Now we only allowed uh, two sizes, either a two vector, a two part vector or a three part vector, and then we will press equals. Then we type in our vector values and press equals after each one. So here's an example, and of course I'm going to do it on the calculator with you now. Right, so first we need to find vector mode. So we're going to say mode and then six for vector. Right, now once we've done that, we need to edit our vector. So we're going to say math and we're going to choose one for edit. Now you can see it automatically gives you a size two and we know you have a choice between two or three spaces in your vector. And once you've selected your size, just press equals and then type in your number. So I'm just going to do a basic one, two, three, just for the example. And then we are done. Right, now that we've edited our vector, we need to be able to store that so that we can work with it in further calculations. So to store the vector, I know it sounds counterintuitive, but we're actually gonna press on first, then we're gonna press math, we're gonna choose three to store our vector, and we're gonna choose a vector to store it in. So we have four different vectors that we can save our vector into, or vector names that we can save it into. So let's do that now. Right, so we press on, and then, of course, we say math, and we're going to choose um, three for store. And then we just choose the vector name we would like to put it into. So that would be zero. And voila. We can then check that the vector is saved correctly by pressing math zero and then zero for our first vector that we chose, vector A, and pressing equals, and it will then show us our vector. So let's do that quickly now on the calculator. Okay, so to check that we've got the correct vector, we're just going to say math and then zero for vector, zero for vector A and equals, and that will show us our vector. So a really great shortcut that we can do is to actually save the name of our vector into our shortcut keys. Now, if you know any, if you've watched any of our other videos, you know that I love these keys. Um, so you have D1, D2, D3, and essentially you'll just store the name of the vector into your D1 key. And so you can use that D1 key to recall the vector every time that you use it. So if you're going to work with vectors a lot, it's a really nice shortcut. Okay. So let me show you how to do it now quickly on the calculator. All right, so to save your, your vector name, we're just going to say store into D1, and we're going to say math and zero for vector, and then we just choose, say, vector A, which is zero. Now, anytime you press D1, vector A automatically comes up. Right, now the next important thing is that we need to do some sums. So we can multiply our vectors with the scalar. So you'll see here, I've just used the D1 key as a shortcut, but if we wanted to recall the vector, we would then use math zero, zero to do the same thing as that D1 key. So you can see it's quite a bit shorter. And then of course, let's save this into the vector B button. So we're gonna do that now on the calculator with you. Okay, so we're gonna multiply that uh, vector a by three so we're going to say three times and we'll just use d1 because it's a lot faster and equals and there we've got three six and nine now if we want to save this vector into our vector b we're just going to say on math store and we'll use one for vector b we can also add the two vectors together um, so that's really quite easy to do. And of course, subtract vectors. And let's do that now on the calculator as well. 
Right, so we're going to say vector A minus vector B. We didn't say it was a shortcut, so we're going to do it the long way around. The, um, zero and then one for vector B. And you'll see our negative solutions. If we added the two together, it would be vector A plus uh, math call vector one and equals. Now to find the dot product, you need two vectors, okay? So we're going to press uh, math, which is our vector menu button essentially. And then we're gonna choose four for dot product, type in our first vector, type in, use the X comma Y in brackets button, that's just to separate the two, and then press your math zero one to call vector B. And you can see that it will give us 42. So let's do it together now on the calculator um, so that you can follow along with me. All right, so let's find the dot product. We're going to say math and we're going to choose four for dot product. Now we need two vectors. So we'll just say D1 for vector A. This button here, that X comma Y in brackets button that creates your uh, coordinate pair, math and zero for vector, one for vector B and equals and we get 42. We can also do the same sequence of events with a cross product. Now, because my vector B is a scalar of vector A, or multiplicant um, scaled vector of vector A, our cross product is obviously going to be zero. Uh, but obviously, if you did different values into vector B, it would be different. Again, to find the cross product, just math. And number five is the cross product. And then we'll do our two vectors. And we use exactly the same button as we did with the dot product with the H, X, and Y. And we'll say math, call our vector, vector B, and equals. And you'll see it will give us zero, as we mentioned before. Right, so angle between vectors. Um, to find the angle between any two vectors, we press math. And obviously, there's a further menu if you press the down arrow and you'll see six is angles and seven is units so we're going to choose six for angle we're going to put in our two vectors and again because they are scalar multiples our angle between the two of them is actually zero so on the calculator now i'll just do it as a different example we'll change vector b for you all right so we first need to change vector b so let's um edit it first Right, and we'll just also has to be a three. Um, and let's just make it five. I'm I'm picking random numbers here, uh, just so that it works. All right, so we've done that. Now we're gonna store it into our vector B, like so. Right, now that we've done that, we can find our angles. So we're gonna say math and six for angle, vector one, which we've saved, our x comma y in brackets button, and then again find vector b, which we haven't saved a shortcut for and equals, and our angle is 19 degrees. And you can see it's degrees because we've got our degrees sign at the top there. Finally, let's find the unit vector. So to find the unit vector, we're going to press math and then we're going to choose seven and press D1 for our vector that we wanna find the unit value of and then e equals and we'll see that we get our vector, a unit vector. So this is just basically scaling the vector to a particular size. Right, so to find our unit vector, we just say math, and you can see number seven says unit. Put in our vector name, we'll just use vector A, for example, and press equals, and there's our unit vector. And that's it for vectors, pretty easy, right? So now that you know how to do it, go out there and win at doing vector calculations. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And of course, tell your friends because everybody needs a little bit of help with maths. Cheers for now.